Okay guys, as promised, we are making watermelon rind preserves today. Um, I trimmed off all the green last night off the rind, sliced it up into very thin pieces. Um, you want to make sure three quarters, or if not all, of the pink is off your rinds. I also went ahead and washed and sterilized my jars and got those ready and my lids are nice and warm okay what we are going to do first is we're going to drain I did forget to tell you something you slice these up put water just to cover and salt them about half cup salt let it sit overnight this is to draw out any excess moisture uh, when I get them drained I will be right back okay we've drained our watermelon rind then the next step would be to measure it out and see how much you have that way we'll know how much uh, sugar to put in it so we'll get to measuring in one second all right here we go one two three four five six and it is difficult with one hand but we'll give it a try seven eight Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have about 16 cups. It's close enough. Alright. Okay. 16 cups of watermelon rind. Alright, what we want to do now is we're going to add water so we can because we have to boil it down to where your rinds are uh, transparent so back in a minute when I get the water ready thank you okay uh, we put in enough water to barely cover the watermelon rind and we'll turn that on and we'll be back when the boiling process is finished okay we've got Michaela's gonna video now so I can have free hand I need to go back up that way a little bit so I've got to drain these out all right these rinds, let me show you what they're supposed to look like. See how clear they are? That's what they're supposed to look like. We're going to drain them again.
make sure you get as much of the water out as you possibly can. We're going to put them back in the pot. Now, the ingredients that we're going to use in these is a tablespoon of ground cinnamon, or a little more, or a little less if you like. We need a teaspoon of ground ginger. And a quarter cup of lemon juice. We'll stir this around, coat everything really well with it. it easier when you've got somebody else videoing. A right hand girl. Let me see it just a second. Say hello right hand girl. That's Michaela. There you go. Now you can get Okay. Now, for 16 cups of rind, I use about, I start off with about five cups of sugar. For the very simple fact, uh, not everybody likes it sweet or as sweet. Now, you can use whatever kind of sweetener you like. This handles artificial sweeteners very well. I use uh, sugar for the very simple reason I do give watermelon rind preserves as gifts. And not everybody will eat the artificial flavored ones. And since I already have enough watermelon rum preserves made for my family, these will become gifts. And I do put them in, because I know which people I'll give it to. Make sure that's turned on higher. I do have a boiling water bath that I do put it in once I get it into my jars. Um, a lot of times if I'm just using pint jars, I just heat them up, make sure they're still good and hot, sterilized, and then I don't even use the bowl on the back. But since they're going to as gifts and they'll be in quartz. boiling water bath. Okay. Now I want to show you what it's looking like so far. Now it will be darker as it cooks down more because the uh, liquid con uh, yeah, concentrates. Sorry I'm so nervous about this guys. It's just I am not used to videoing, as you can probably tell, but this is kind of like a challenge from Kitty, Cat, Amanda, 
and the rest of the crew. And you know who you are. So, this is made with love. And we'll be back when the liquid starts getting thick enough. Okay, our watermelon rind preserves are ready to be jarred. The juice is nice and thick. The watermelon is beautifully cooked. And I forgot to tell y'all something earlier. I do not use pectin in this. I just boil it down until it's thick. And there we have it. Now the next thing we'll do is hand this over to Michaela and start jarring up the preserves. Oh, one other thing. Show this down here, Michaela. Look at the difference. This is clear and that's raw. Shows you how they're supposed to look when they're done. Okay, let's get these jars. Everything has been sterilized. Let me rinse this out a little bit. I don't like that. There we go. Okay, now, in my boiling water bath canner, I put in enough water to start getting the um, jars in there, but I will add more water to make sure they're covered by two inches. Um, I also put in about a cup of vinegar to keep your jars from becoming white. Alright, let me get, I'll be right back. Okay. Here we go. Now as this cools, the juice will thicken even more. have extra juice left over, jar it up because it's excellent on pancakes or biscuits or anything like that. Sure, you get all the air bubbles out. I don't think I'm gonna have it. About two, three jars. That's gonna be it. All right. You want to make sure that you wipe the top off. Make sure there's nothing on there. If it squeaks, it's clean. some reason or the other and one broke but I think of it like this if the rest of the jars didn't break that one jar would have broken if I was canning it so I would rather lose one jar 
then I draw full of whatever I was canning at the time. You have to get a couple of jars. I'll have enough juice left over to make some watermelon rind syrup or can it up for the pancakes. I will at the beginning or the end of the video probably put the recipe down that way or I'll tell you what I will put it on the description and that way y'all can print it out um, for your own recipes Okay, now we've got two quarts and maybe a half pint left over. Well, half pints left over. So that will go on probably biscuits for supper. Now we want to make sure that you cover your jars with boiling water and boil them for 10 minutes. And that should do it. If y'all have any questions, text me, whatever you need to do, and I will answer the best I can. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Say bye, Michaela. Bye. <laughs> All right, bye.